Okay, so you have to find a quadratic equation of this form given the information. The minimum value is negative 9, and the zeros are half and negative 5 halves. So taking the first clue, the minimum value, I know that that goes in the vertex. And the vertex is an ordered pair. Do you know whether it's the first number in the ordered pair or the second number? You should know that. It's the second, so I know that minus 9 goes there. Now the other big clue is the zeros. And you know the zeros are where the equation crosses the x-axis. So let's see if we can figure out. We'll just take a look at the x-axis here and see where those zeros are. A half, well that would be right there. Negative 5 halves would be, that's negative 2 and a half. 1, 2 and a half, right there. Now, this vertex represents a minimum value. So somewhere between here, now, you know that if the curve, which is a parabola, goes through there, it could go through this way or this way. And there's an infinite number of curves. If it's a minimum value, do you know, know what the curve looks like? Is it the type that holds water or doesn't hold water? This type here. This has a minimum. So our curve is going to go down this way. And how far does it go? It goes down to minus 9. But I, where on minus 9? On what line do I count down on minus 9? Have any idea? Exactly in the middle, if I could fold this. So, exactly in the middle. Let's figure out what that is. Let's just add these two points and divide it by 2. A half plus negative 5 halves. Add them and divide by 2. Negative 4 halves divided by 2. Negative 2 divided by 2. Negative 1. Whoa, that's this point, negative 1. Now I have the vertex. So, if I go negative 1, right, 1 and a half that way, 1 and a half that way, yeah, it looks just right, and then go down 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine. There's the vertex of the curve we're looking for. We need that equation. All right, so they gave us the clue, the minimum. They gave us the intercepts. And from that, we could figure out the vertex. So I know that the equation goes through that as a vertex, and we know it's a minimum. These zeros are the roots. Do you remember the equation that talked about the sum of the roots? What's the sum of the roots? A half plus negative 5 halves, negative 4 halves, negative 2. That's the sum. What's the product? Do you know how to find that? Multiply them. A half times negative 5 halves, negative 5 fourths. These two values can be used to write the equation. I know that f of x equals sum a times x squared minus the sum of the roots times x plus the product of the roots. So there we go. Let's neaten that up a little bit. So we have f of x equals a times x squared plus 2x minus 5 fourths. All I have to do is solve that. Okay, so from here, all I have to do is try and figure out what that A is, and I have the equation. Well, the vertex is of big use here, because the Y is also the F of X. So I could say negative 9 equals A, and the X value is negative 1. So negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 minus 5 fourths. Simplify that. Negative 9 equals A times, and if I figure all of that out, I should get negative 9 fourths. You can use your calculator to figure that out. Let's multiply both sides by negative 4 ninths. Negative 4 ninths. That gives us 9 canceling out. Positive 4 equals A. So, I can use that here. 
So f of x equals 4 times x squared plus 2x minus 5 fourths. That's the equation. Let's simplify it a little bit more. 4x squared plus 8x minus 5. Final answer for the equation. The tricky part, remember, was finding this part of the equation. And you have a, an equation in your notes that says that the quadratic equation is x squared minus the sum of the roots. The sum of the roots was a negative, right, plus the product of the roots, which came out to be a negative. So that was the tricky part. Then using the vertex to solve. And again, another tricky part was we had to find that x value of the vertex. That was easy. This distance divided by 2, because remember the vertex is always right in the middle on this axis down here. That's the line of symmetry. So, good luck.